To politics, retired president and Jubilee party leader Uhuru Kenyatta has today announced a new venue for the party's national delegates conference slated for Monday next week. Barely days after his faction was denied access to the original venue at the Bomas of Kenya. The retired president has said that the conference will now be held at the Ngong Racecourse despite a rival faction in the Jubilee Party led by Iyala Member of Parliament Kanini Kega dismissing it. KTN's political affairs reporter David Mudoka has more on the escalating battle for the control of the immediate former ruling party. <laughs> The fight for the heart and soul of the immediate former ruling Jubilee party took a new twist on Saturday. <laughs> Following days of uncertainty as to whether the National Delegates Conference called by retired President Uhuru Kenyatta will take place after the original bomber's venue was declared inaccessible by its management on the 11th hour, Uhuru today announced a new venue for the Monday next week's conference. Through a notice published on today's newspapers, the retired president, who is also the Jubilee Party leader, announced that the NDC will be held at the Ngong Racecourse in Kibra, Nairobi. <laughs> the latest move by Uhuru points at his relentlessness to put the Jubilee House in order after months of wrangles pitting one faction allied to him against another allied to Eala MP Kanini Kega for the control of the immediate former ruling party. Several leaders in the Uhuru faction, among them Austed Jubilee Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni and Vice Chair David Murathe have been supporting the convening of the conference. The NDC is seen as an opportunity to kick out the Kanini Kega faction that appointed the Ayala MP as its Secretary General and nominated MP Sabina Chege as its leader from the Jubilee Party for Good. Can you imagine people putting themselves together and calling the former president into a disciplinary committee? The person who nominated you to Yara, to Parliament, who even funded your campaigns when you are running as a member of parliament. And then you call him to a disciplinary committee. However, on Friday, the Kanini Kega faction not only cancelled the NDC, but also expelled Morathe and Kioni from the party, saying they had been found guilty of gross misconduct and failing to respect party organs. And if they go ahead uh, to convene a meeting on Monday, it will just be assumed that uh, it's just another political rally, which anybody is free, but it is not binding. In less than 36 hours from now, all eyes will be trained at the Ngong race course to see whether the National Delegates Conference will take place and if it happens, what decisions will be made and whether some of those decisions will include the rolling of some heads. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. A Senate ad hoc committee on proliferation of religious organizations